This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this 2022 Autumn Ridge model 19BH. I'm just going to show you some of the features and how they work. Okay, so you have regular crank down stabilizers, of course, and they just have, take a three quarter inch crank that comes with it or a attachment or a socket for your drill. Okay, power awning with LED strip. Outside speakers, of course. Now this right here is the range hood vent. So if you're going to run the fan to exhaust uh, uh, to the outside, you're going to open these baffles like that. And that way this can flap freely um, when you're venting. But when you're, when you're not, when you're traveling or you're in storage or whatever, just push those shut. Okay, let's see what else. This is your uh, just your dump hose, and this is a reducer here. This this goes from your 30 amp cord down to a 20, which you could plug in at home. Okay. You have a, a, a tongue jack, of course. Then you have your uh, your LP tank, and then you have a deep cycle marine battery. Of course, that's your regulator right there, your LP regulator. So, there are two ways to get water to the trailer. The first one is city water, which will be, I think it's back here. Let's look. Yeah, city water. So, you're just going to hook your hose up, turn it on, and everything's pressurized, ready to go. All your fixtures work. Now, if you're going camping at a campsite or a campground that does not have plumbing on the campsites, for example, you can pre-fill your fresh water tank right here. Um, there's a 12 volt pump inside. You'll turn it on, and it'll pressurize the system, and everything will everything will work uh, uh, just as though you have city water. You just leave the pump on, basically. When the faucets are shut, pressure builds up, and it and it shuts the pump off. So when you turn the valve on for cold water, let's say in the kitchen, the the uh, the pressure will drop. The the pump will start pumping. So it turns on and on and off by itself, or with 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 by itself sort of but with the pressure from the uh, from the uh, plumbing so uh, I know I'm going a long way to say something simple here but uh, the bottom line is you don't turn the pump on and off as you need to use it you just keep it on and it shuts on and off okay Whew. went a long way to say something simple there okay so this is cal say, uh, uh, cable and satellite through this is your water heater the switches are on the inside but um, the thing to know is this is your your it's got a little piece of ice in there. This is your your drain cap here and your your uh, uh, your 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 water heater drain itself. So um, of course it's it's uh, it's uh, winterized right now, so the water heater is bypassed and uh, and then it's empty, so it doesn't freeze. Um, so to, in order to to do this. Uh, you'll need a one, an inch and a sixteenth six-point socket, and uh, a, you know maybe a six-inch extension and a ratchet or a bar to put on there to to loosen it, tighten it. But something you should carry with you. Okay. The switches to operate are inside. I'll show you that. Now, these are your, first of all this this red and blue line are your low point valves. So that's the low point of the plumbing. They're open right now because it's winterized. Uh, then you have your gray tank valve here and your black tank valve here. Black tank is toilet water and waste. Gray tank is sink and shower water. So you always dump the black first and then you're going to dump the gray in order to uh, um, you know, help wash it out because the, the gray water is dirty water but it's cleaner than the black water. So, Okay, keep that in mind. Okay. That housing there tells us this is pre-wired for a backup camera if you wanted to add one. And while we're looking up here, keep in mind that the manufacturer states you shouldn't check and inspect the roof every uh, 90 days. So it needs to be inspected up there every 90 days. You, you uh, look for a cracking or separation at any of the sealant. You need to look for damage to any roof attachments or the roofing material uh, from low branches or road debris, something like that, okay? So... Um, every 90 days for that okay so this is your control panel here 
uh, water heater on electric, like that, light it on gas, like that, your water pump right there. Um, never run this without water in the tank. Right now the tank's empty, so make sure you put the, cat, the drain cap back on and fill it up before you turn this on, okay? Otherwise it'll burn out the element really quickly. Your battery's charged, fresh tank is empty, black tank is empty, gray tank is empty. It graduates every one third, one third increments and it fills up, so once you get past two thirds, you gotta start thinking about dumping the gray in the black tank. All right. This is for your awning right here. Never leave it out unattended, of course. If you're not going to be at the campsite, you want to roll it. Um, roll it in, okay? Uh, your sound here, you can, uh, it's got, first of all, it's got uh, AM, FM radio. It has Bluetooth, so you can hook up wirelessly from your phone or tablet. Um, you have a USB here, and this HDMI is an in. So if you need to go into the system, you could go in that way, okay? Okay, let's see here. What else have we got? This is your obviously your TV hookups. You can see how it's it's glowing red. Uh, that LED is is glowing red, and uh, there's a switch next to, to turn it on and off. You always want it on like that when you're using the antenna. Otherwise, you won't get a good picture. It's a signal booster for the digital uh, antenna. Of course, this is the uh, the remote for the for the sound I just showed you, okay? So you've got two burners. You just turn it on and light it with a, with a lighter. Okay, your um, furnace, you want to keep in mind that when you shut it off, it has to click to the left like this. And then to turn it on, it's got to click to the right. So when you're traveling, you want to make sure it clicks to shut off. Now, because I shut it on and off, as soon as I shut it off, the flame went out. But when I turn it back on, it's going to relight, right? Um, but if, after I shut it off, the flame goes out immediately, and then it's going to cycle for a minute or two before it shuts down. That's normal. So uh, um, keep that in mind. All righty. So this is a... Why is that open? This is a 12-volt um, DC refrigerator. It's very simple. On and off. Temperature up and down. And then you have different modes, like a... a um, Echo economical mode, you know, uh, uh, that sort of thing. It just uses less power. All right. That's one last thing here. I'm having a rough time here, but I'll make it. Um, so this, obviously this works like any other uh, shower. You always want to run the, the power vent when you use the shower to pull the humidity out. Also, keep in mind, if you've got a bunch of people over and it's the time of night or time of the year when you get condensation from your breath, that sort of thing. You run this fan and it'll pull all that out. You'll never have an issue with it. Um, so keep that in mind also. The toilet works like every other RV toilet in that you got a flush pedal right here. Directly below there is the black tank, right? The black tank can't be dry when you're using the toilet. So uh, when you, after you plug in your trailer, hook up the water, you come inside, then you're going to dump one dose of chemical right in the bowl here. You're going to step on this. It's going to come swirling in. The water will come swirling out and into the black tank. And uh, so you're going to put about a gallon or so in the black tank. Some people use more. Some people, you know, use a lot more. But you, uh, you figure, just figure about a gallon. So uh, um, the idea is you can't use it dry because the smell will be, will be overwhelmingly terrible and uh, also can get, can get clogged up, so keep that in mind. All right, let's see if there's anything else here. Obviously your air conditioner, you just control it from these knobs here. Any lights that don't light with the um, switch, you can turn them on manually with the button in the middle. Okay, there's two other things I'm looking for here that I haven't told you about. I can just find them, I'll be all set. Ah, oh, here it is, okay. This is the power converter right here. So this converts AC to DC power. I know we don't have really good light here, but... Let me see if I can turn some more on here. Okay, that's better. All right. 
So, it, on this side is AC power. So, you get a, when you're plugged in, you 110 AC comes in. This side, you have regular circuit breakers like you see at home. And they're labeled, okay. Then the power is converted to 12 volt DC on this side. So you got 12 volt fuses here, and they're they got if any of these fuses were to blow, they'll light up. You can see them through this perforation here. And also um, the uh, this is a battery tender. So when you're plugged in, it's going to sense how much energy your battery needs up front, and it's going to use the 12 volt side to send power to the to the uh, battery to keep it charged okay so it does three things it's, it's, it's AC power uh, distribution it's it converts to DC and it's a low uh, it's a battery tender okay I know I said okay about a hundred times I'm, I'm having a rough time <laughs> okay let's see here I guess that's it you can you can uh, drop the table down turn into a bed of course there's also a, uh, a um, carbon monoxide and LP gas detector in here which is right here so if uh, it detects carbon monoxide build up LP gas uh, leak and if it beeps very slowly it's telling you that your battery is low so uh, make sure it's always green like it is if not get it serviced it's very important okay so I want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit um, please remember what I said about inspecting the roof every 90 days. Also, like I stated earlier, this is this trailer is winterized right now, so the water heater is bypassed and it's empty, and there's antifreeze in the system. Okay, thank you.